Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the last Premier League press conference of the season and we can make history today. We can win our 21st league title in English football history and that will make Liverpool the most successful club in terms of league titles in English football history. When I took over we only had 18 titles. Manchester United had 20, but now it, we can actually make it 21. Bill Shankly, the brilliant, legendary Liverpool manager, once said, first is first, if you come second, that's nothing. And that's what's on the line here. Honestly, it would be the biggest, biggest choke of the Premier League era if we, we lost the league title after, you know, working so, so hard to get in front of Arsenal. We are still five points clear. And let's take advantage of Arsenal actually not winning their past three games. They are even bigger bottle job FCs than Liverpool. And I know that the Liverpool fans know the pain of finishing second. So I want to give them that Premier League trophy, that feeling of winning a league title. And then hopefully we can win the Champions League as well. What is up guys? It's Tom here and welcome to the season finale part one of the Liverpool career mode we have a uh, three games to go in the Premier League and if we collect at least two victories we win the title I think even a uh, uh, one win and two draws is enough and guys please leave a like on this video if you want to see the Champions League final should I do a full game live commentary for the Champions League final or do you want to see extended highlights for the Champions League final let me know if you want to see the Champions League final very soon, let's get this video to 500 likes with your help. And this is the team that you can see on the screen, which I'm playing with. Origi comes in for Dybala because Dybala is very tired, but otherwise it's one of our strongest possible lineups. Let's get that title, guys. West Brom, Tony Pulis sides are always very tough to break down, especially away from home. But I'm up for the challenge, guys. We can make history and they have Adam Bogdan the former Liverpool player in goal and also they have Ruben Neves, another player that we had in this career What the fuck is going on? Can't do passes, please keeper Are you serious? He just goes through Easy as a piece of cake and we are one nil down. What is going on? The last few games in the Premier League, I'm really struggling. I just smashed Man City 5-1 in the Champions League, but in the Premier League, I'm not in form and that's worrying coming into the climax of the season. Oh please, Origi, please! What a block! Teixeira and Goetz said they are just not doing it in this game, so I'm bringing on Ibe and Isco. Oh, go on! Go on, Quincy! Oh my god, I'm so bad today! Beautiful! Please! Please, Origi! He missed it! What? Oh, no way, Origi! You normally score those. I even finessed it. What the hell? Yeah, let's go all out attack. I think I will bring on Dybala and I will put him up front. Let's go. Ibe? Ibe? Dybala, get there! No! No way. Come on, Royce. Beautiful. Marco Royce. And I be the hero. And no. Come on. Give me a break. After going strong all season, we, we just fell apart in the last two games. I have no idea what happened. I just can't score. We lost to Aston Villa at home and we lost to West Brom away from home. They had two shots on target, scored a goal. As you can see, Arsenal have won their game against Manchester City. So the pressure is now truly on because our lead is cut down to just two points. So these are the young players that you can see above me that I'm training at the moment. Nunez is improving very nicely and hardly 
just went up rating wise he's now 78 rated and it basically saves us uh, spending 20 million pounds on a new fullback it's a must win game guys even if we draw here arsenal could win the title on goal difference so we must win our last two games please oh my god i wasn't decisive enough Come on, fit me. No! Guzan saves it. Quincy, please! No! Yes. Come on, Quincy. No, I need you. Dibala! Dibala! Come on! Finally! That is brilliantly, brilliantly worked by Quincy. Ah, oh, look at this. Ah, oh, the fake shot, then the scoop turn, and Dybala slides in and toe pokes it home. It's not the most beautiful goal, but it's so important. Come on. Firmino, please! Oh my goodness. Royce. Handle! Handle! Handles! No! Here are the half time stats and Arsenal are drawing with Manchester United. This could be massive guys. We could win the title today. Oh no. The youth. Okay. Beautiful. Dybala. Origi. I'm increasing. What a tackle. Uh, I had to. I had to take him out. No! Uh, that's no, that's a red card for Schule. Oh no. I'm just so worried that Stoke will equalize. No. How is he wide open? Oh my god. Thank goodness for Ter Stegen. Oh, god damn. No, the wing. The wing is wide open. Uh, no. Ter Stegen just kept, keeps us on on the top of the Premier League table. What a massive save that is. Yes! Yes! We haven't won the title yet, but that's a big step. I'm so, so nervous. I hope you guys can feel the tension throughout the video as well, because I'm just, I'm sweating my balls off here, trying to win the Premier League title. I never thought that it would come so close we were when we were seven points clear. Before we go into the last day of the Premier League season, we got a message from Jonathan Ta and he says that he once he changed his mind and he would like to stay and play for this club now that we are on the brink of winning the Premier League title and maybe the Champions League as well. I guess he realized there is no better club to be. Then at Liverpool and we get two messages very important that two few academy players want out and usually I wait until they they message me that they want to leave and this this guy he's he's a brilliant left back his potential is 88 to 94 which is absolutely insane and the other guy well actually I have two guys who, who are both called Jose and Henriquez and I will promote this one who has potential of 90 to 94 which is again insane and he's a cam and on, on a three-year contract for just 500 pounds I think it's an absolute bargain to sign these types of players we are just two points out of Arsenal Arsenal have a better goal difference so if we don't win if we either draw or lose and Arsenal win their game it's an all or nothing game guys Liverpool go to Cardiff City and we can become Premier League champions here here is the team this is it guys, Cardiff City against Liverpool, we were at one point 11 points behind Arsenal, remember, we have been 7 points ahead of them, but in the end it's very very close. Please, please, no, oh there's thing and that's a big save. Dybala, oh please rebound, no, beautiful. Teixeira! Just, uh, please Royce, please! 
Oh, 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 no! Okay. Beautiful. Please, Dybala. Another block. Incredible. Oh, they will put this long ball into the box, and I hate that. Come on. Come on, Dybala. Come on. Please. Royce. No. What a save. How did the goalkeeper save that? Oh, they scored, but it's offside. It's time for some substitutions. Isco and Origi coming on. No. There is no way. Oh my god! Fabio, the left back! The former Manchester United player. And we are 1 0 down on the last day of the season. And we could lose the league title because of this. I can't believe it. Wow, we are in trouble, guys. Come on. Come on, Anderson. Bang! Yes! Jordan Anderson, get the ball! Come on! Of course the captain! Yes! Of course the captain shows us the way! And it's not over yet! We have 20 minutes left to win the game! What an insane last day of the season! Jordan Anderson into the near post! Fantastic finish! I'm putting Varane as a left back, Jonathan Ta in, in centre back because Robertson is absolutely knackered! No, no. Come on. Chrissy! Yes! Chrissy! Oh my god! What a moment! What an incredible moment! Honestly, this is the most dramatic end of season in this whole series. Wow! Quincy that did that brilliantly and then he can finish it off. Yes! What a huge goal! Come on boys! We can do this! Yes! Very help me. It's goal! Oh my, what a save! That is incredible! That was going in the top corner! Isco almost scored as a substitute, that is wow! Come on! Oh, another block! Baran? Ah, too easy. No. What are you doing, Dybala? Just let it out of play. Yes! We have done it! We have won the Premier League title! Look at Royce! What a league season! Unbelievable, Jeff! Guys, if you have enjoyed this Premier League season and this incredible season finale honestly i think this is one of the best season finales that i've ever done i think on the fifa 14 on the ps3 i had a season finale where steven gerrard scored the winning goal that won us the premier league title with his last kick as a liverpool player because after that game he retired come on 90th minute let's do this Gerard on his last game at Anfield. You couldn't make this up. You couldn't fucking make this up, man. I think this stops it because we were one nil down with 25 minutes to go. We were down and out. Cardiff City and former Manchester United defender Fabio looked like they put the dagger into the hearts of our title defense, but we came back and Jordan Anderson lifts the Premier League trophy. What an achievement! What a season! Oh man, I've, uh, this is this is why I love career mode. 
loads of you guys ask me why and how can I keep playing career mode so much it's for moments like this guys because you never know what will happen and with the harder than legendary slider it's always a big challenge every game is so tense so challenging so close and every game feels like a cup final and it it feels even better to win the league title like this because had we won the league title with three games to go you know it would have been just too easy but this this oh my goodness and i i tried my hardest in every game don't get me wrong guys but this season it just blows my mind we were 11 points behind arsenal at one stage at, in like october then we were seven points clear in like march or april and then it went down to the just two points i had incredible amount of chances but still cardiff city <laughs> almost almost ruined our whole season but in the end jordan anderson and quincy promise who else with the goals the captain and our favorite player in the whole series quincy comes out came up with the big goals i mean dibala had five shots four on target in the whole game here are the last day of results in the premier league season and in the end arsenal i don't know how but they managed to lose against aston villa 1-0 that's just incredible and i think west ham stayed up because they won against everton let's take a look at the league table so here is how the premier league table finished in the end we won the league by five points but only because arsenal lost on the last day of the season and uh and yeah i think i think we deserved it even though arsenal scored more goals than us we were just a little bit more consistent than arsenal and of course arsenal dropped a lot of points in the last six or seven fixtures even more than us so i think they have only won twice in the last seven premier league games or something like that chelsea and manchester united finished in the top four man city finished in fifth place swansea only just miss out on a european football next season and tottenham finished seventh everton finished in mid table and in the end norwich watford and cardiff city got relegated Saboni won the top scorers chart Sanchez came second with Oscar and Dybala finished as joint sixth top scorer he had a magnificent season considering how much I rotated the team and Dybala had the most assists so I think Dybala is our player of the season because he has been just so so consistent Ter Stegen finished with nine clean sheets and Butland even though I will sell him and he made a lot of mistakes he still contributed with eight clean sheets and I think that wraps up today's Liverpool Carrier World episode. If you want to see more, smash the like button. If you want to see the Champions League final very soon, thanks for watching. See you later, guys. Good night.